starfish can regenerate and salamanders can regenerate, but people can't. Humans regenerate using stem cells that come from uh, uh, when we come from the womb. So when we were developing in the womb, we were only stem cells. When we were born, we had extra stem cells. Introducing Dr. William Lee, a globally recognized medical doctor and researcher trained at Harvard. He is the founder and president of the Angiogenesis Foundation and has made significant contributions to medical science. His work has resulted in over 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for conditions such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He is also a New York Times best-selling author known for his book Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself. Recently, he released a new book titled Eat to Beat Your Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. So when we were kids, we were taught by our kindergarten teachers that starfish can regenerate and salamanders can regenerate, but people can't. But it turns out that humans do regenerate. And so that chapter in that textbook is being thrown out the window. A new textbook is being written. And we know that we actually regenerate because we're bo when we're born, we are born with extra stem cells. These stem cells were used to form our bodies in mom's womb. So our face, our lungs, our liver, all that kind of stuff. And we're born, we've got a lot of extra. It's like extra paint cans, you know, after you paint a room. You always buy some extra. Now, what do you do at the end? You cap it up and stick it in your garage. And so what our body does at birth is it takes extra stem cells. We've got 750 million extra stem cells um, when we're born, and they pack them up in our bone marrow. Now, when we need them, our bone marrow sends them out like bees flying out of a hive. And certain foods can actually help our stem cells come out or can protect our stem cells. So berries are something that can actually help uh, protect our stem cells. Uh, they've got lots of bioactives in them. Chocolate can actually, dark chocolate can actually, cacao can actually um, uh, 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 get our stem cells out as well. And by the way, you know, one of the things that I'd be really interested in uh, exploring uh, as a, from a juicing perspective is whether you could actually take the cacao pot um, and do anything with the skin around the seeds or, or some other way of actually getting more flavanols out of the raw capacity. You know, like, Everybody eats the dark chocolate, which is great. But I'm wondering if there are other things we can do with the, with the, the technique, the device of, of a juicer. So I think there's things that we can actually invent there. There's a, there's a ton of foods that actually uh, protect our stem cells uh, as well. And so that's one of the reasons that, you know, I think foods that can stimulate prompt regeneration is just a whole new concept out there. When we were born, we had extra stem cells that didn't get used. It's kind of like having extra cans of paint. When you finish painting in your room, you know, you always get extra paint so you don't run out. But when you're done with painting the room, what do you do? Oh man, I got a few extra cans. You put the lid back on, put them in the garage for next time. Do you need to patch something up? Well, that's exactly what our stem cells do. We got extra stem cells. How many? 750 million extra stem cells when we're born. Those get all packed up in our bone marrow mostly. And so then when we need them over a course of our lives, our body calls out more stem cells to regenerate our heart, our brain, our muscles. You're going to work out in the gym, you got to grow some new muscle. Those stem cells come flying out in order to be able to regenerate our organs. Now, foods can activate this regeneration system. They can call out more stem cells, and that's why they're part of this defense system. If your organ needs to be repaired, if you're sick, you know, even for COVID, like long COVID needs stem cells to repair some of the damage. That's something, another thing that I'm working on right now. But there are dozens of food that can help you regenerate, including dried fruit, because it's got something called ursolic acid. And another food that can actually help out is dark chocolate. Turns out cacao, which is, by the way, a plant-based food, dark chocolate, okay, um, actually can call out the stem cells in your bloodstream. This has been studied in humans. Got to be like 80% or higher cacao. So you really want to go for that dark, dark chocolate. And remember I told you, you don't want added sugar. So you don't want to just be eating candy bar. Go for the dark, uh, the dark chocolate with as little or no added sugar, refined sugar uh, as possible. Um, now, there are other foods that can actually stimulate your stem cells as well. Whole wheat, brown rice, barley, oats, even popcorn. These all have fiber and the dietary fiber triggers our stem cells. Swiss chard, mustard greens, collard greens, goji berries, you know, those little tiny little herbal berries, 
um, you can get you can get them in uh, dried almost anywhere. They contain something called zeaxanthin, that is a bioactive, one of mother's natural chemicals, supercharges stem cells so they can help us regenerate even better. And I have something special. I, I found this yesterday when I was out shopping in the Asian market that you may not have seen before. I found some Chinese celery. Chinese celery. This is Chinese celery. Look how long it is. This is monstrous. Okay, I'm backing up. This is Chinese celery. It looks kind of like celery. It's a little wilty. It's much softer. It's not like these hard sticks. You can't, you know, you can't beat somebody with it. Um, but it is much more potent than if you break it off and smell it. Wow. It's got this like peppery, more intense, I mean, celery the smell. Okay. Here's what you need to know that there are studies have been done to figure out what's in Chinese celery. It's not in regular um, American celery or European celery. It's a chemical called NBP. It's two nitro bisphosphate, phosphate, thiol, no, it's NBP, two NBP. All right. This actually has been shown to stimulate stem cells to come out of your bloodstream. In fact, so powerfully that in China, because remember, this is Chinese celery. In China, they've actually extracted the stuff from celery and Chinese celery seeds, and they've approved it as a drug to treat stroke. So they've done human studies where people have strokes and they're able to give this to NDP, which comes from the celery, and it actually helps more blood vessels to grow and repair and regenerate the damaged stem cells in human brains. Quite amazing, okay? Coming out of this natural food. This is, again, food is medicine. Sometimes the stuff in the food becomes the medicine. All right, so that's regeneration. Stem cells are like the body's natural repair crew essential for rejuvenation and longevity. By feeding these powerful cells with the right nutrients, we can unlock their full potential and slow down the aging process. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into how you can heal your body with natural foods. And remember, your health is in your hands. Start making the change today.